I think we finally got it. What's going on, everybody? I hope all is well. It is Friday, and I think we finally got this thing all wrapped up. I don't know for sure. So what I want to do in this video, and I still look at, I still got some work to do. Parts, trying to get parts is insane. Um, we ordered the 160 amp uh, breaker, the DC breaker, some time ago, and we're still waiting on it. <clears throat> so, but that's been this, the story of this thing here, is that things have been on hold, back ordered, and they're just not here quick to get here. In fact, um, I barely got, not this, not that. I barely got the cables for the panels in and the brackets. They barely came in. So it is what it is, right? But this video is not about waiting. You guys know that story already. But really the video is about the display, the setup, the parameters. Um, I haven't found a video that I actually went over those things. So I'm hoping that this video will help you guys out a little bit because I had a hard time. So if you've ordered the uh, 24 volt system, uh, let's see here, there's the model number. If you order this one, I'm going to try to do my best to actually work through the parameters that you need to set up for your lithium batteries that come with this particular kit. Now, let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> okay, so this is actually default UTI. Uh, number one is default here. Um, I left it alone. Now, just real quick, um, I don't have a main, I do have a uh, AC inlet on here, I do, but it is not doing anything right now. I don't have anything connected to it as far as my generator goes, so don't worry about that. That is fine. Now, you can switch it back and forth, and in fact, I want to say, oops, um, sorry guys, I'm by myself, so I'm going to try to work through this as best I possibly can. Okay, so number one, uh, this is it right here outsource priority um, like I said by default it comes with uh, the UTI uh, you can't it like for my my situation I could probably switch it to um, SOL um, so my word um, or SBU uh, so I'll probably switch it to here but it's okay if it goes to default that's fine not a big deal next on your menu um, parameter 2 is oh that's 60 Hertz that's fine not a problem at all next on the scale boop, three UPS, what is that? So again, our booklet tells us that UPS is a default situation. I've been speaking back and forth with the guys over there at Single Power. That's not a problem to be at that. We'll, we'll get into some more of the weeds here in a second, okay? Number four, 24.6 volts. That is okay. Not a, not a problem at all. Uh, by default, it says a 21.8. But what we did here, if you can tell, it says when the parameter one... Uh, SOL or SBU, the, the battery voltage is lower than the set value. Now, what's going to happen is that, um, and I'm not trying to flip around too much, but I just want to give you guys kind of a heads up here. When we get to battery type, that's going to make all the difference here. But as of right now, um, what you're going to do, actually, no, let's do this here. Maybe this makes more sense. And because of what's going on here uh, and how this thing is set up, but let's go to number eight. Okay, so this is the big deal right here. I say big deal in one sense or another. Now, when we first got our system and I was trying to figure out why isn't it charging, what's going on here, uh, some of that had to do with the batteries and the way that they were set up. Uh, I'll do a video on that separately so that I don't bore you guys with this particular one or make this longer than it needs to be. Uh, so, long story short, if you have this particular kit that comes with two 12 volt, 12 volt lithium batteries, it should be set at um, LOA, which is, I'll show you guys right now. Boop, 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 missed it. All right, battery type. Look at this here. And now it comes default as gel. And that, so here's the deal, is that actually worked. Um, we were playing with this thing and playing with this thing, and we couldn't get it to do anything. And so what we did is we went back to all default stuff, which was default was gel. Which, if you, of course, if you read that, you'll see that it's not lithium, right? That's not what it is at all. Oh, no. But after hours and hours of talking to somebody on, uh, I think it's WhatsApp and also the email because remember they have no phone number you call You're at the beholding of those guys to get back to you and um, Hopefully it works out So what they do want you to do is they want you to put it on LF08 okay, that's where they want you to put it on and then of course the parameters are gonna be set according and I'll show you what I mean in a second here All right guys, uh, so this is kind of my nerd booklet here what I did 
This is for lithium batteries. If you're working with something else, you're going to refer to this one here. I'm not even doing that at all. I'm going to be strict on this page, so hopefully this helps you. Um, what I did is I marked my um, the parameters for the lithium batteries 1 through uh, 14. Sorry, I'll kind of goop everywhere. I looked at my batteries. I probably should move somewhere else. So I marked them 1 to 14. And then what I went back, what I went to do is I went back to the settings, the parameter settings for display, and actually marked each one of them out accordingly. And I don't know if that makes sense to you. Some of these I got no answers on as far as what exactly they do. Um, I think, but for the most part, I think this is exactly what you're looking for. Now, let me show you this here. You are looking, what's up, Boogie? You are looking in this one here. And really what you want to do is you want to have these set accordingly. Okay, now some of them you can't change. Like, there's nothing you can do. They're by default, or not even by default. They're just stuck the way. So, stuck that way. And that's what you're going to be dealing with. But some of them you can uh, change um, as it needs to be so and I think what's interesting is that some of them actually change automatically some of them did it you got to change them automatically and we'll go through that here in a second as well all right five five is what oh focus okay uh, utility power uh, set point by default is at 20.8 that's fine you can leave it where it is number six SNU same thing I left it alone Number seven, 60 amps, that is okay, not a problem at all. Number eight, that's, we just talked about that here. Um, we tried LO7, again, not wrong, it even worked on gel, but for whatever reason, they were telling me it needs to be on uh, lithium eight, and so that's what we did. Number nine, 28.8 volts, which is not the default, so just be careful that they wanted me to change it to 28.4, and I did. Number 10, of course, corresponds to my number 14 on the other page. Uh, that is 120 by default. We kept, it, we kept it the same, as you can see. All right, number 11. Uh, we actually did change that one. That is battery floating charge voltage. The default is 27.6. They wanted me to change it to 28.4, and I obliged. Number 12, you can see that uh, I had a question mark because I wasn't sure about this particular one here, um, which by default is 24.4 or 27, 21 point volt. Yeah, 21 volts. Uh, they want me to change it to uh, 23 volts. And so I did. Next up, 13. Battery over discharge delay time. Uh, by default, they have it at 5 seconds. They wanted me to change it to 30. Don't know why again. A lot of these things are above my pay grade. I just did it. 14. 14. Uh, 24.8 volts. And here we have 22 volts. So that also was changed for my particular system. All right, 15, another change. They have, they want me to change to 22, 22 volts. Uh, here they have 20 volts. Of course, the interesting thing here is they go from 15 to 22. Don't know why, don't know how to override that, but it is what it is. So DIS, uh, power saving, disabled. Yeah, didn't change at all. 23, same thing here. No change at all, still the same. Oops. 24, 25, 25 is a default ENA, and that's what that is. 26 is the same. I want to say all of them are like 27 is the same. I think 28 is 40 amp default. Yep, that's what that is. So didn't change at all. Still the same. 29 DIS. Yep, that's the same as the default. Surprisingly enough, 30, look at it on the book. There is no 30, 29, 32. All right, 34, same thing in the book. It is by default DIS, same thing here. Ah, we have our first change in a while. Uh, number 35, parameter 35 is 27.2 volts. And here they got uh, 26 volts. So again, some of, this, some of this actually matters because if you, if you do set the battery default differently, um, like I said, they went from gel to lithium, then some of these parameters are going to be changed as we've already seen. 36, that's an easy one, right? Because there isn't one. All right, 37, battery fully charge recovery point. By default, it's 26 volts. Here it's not, it's 26.8. 38 is 120 volts by default, and same as here. All right, 57. Again, uh, we didn't even touch 40. We went straight to 57, and that is 2 amps 
same thing there. Boy, if you've made it through all 10 minutes of this video, awesome. Yeah, that, that for us, it was a lot of work to try to work this out. And it took a lot of time. Um, I'll say a couple things about the process. Um, it, there were times where it was very frustrating. And I think God would just teach me patience. And so I, I learned some. But it was hard to get a hold of somebody. And then it was weird because kind of towards the end, they were really on top of things and started re uh, returning messages back to me pretty rapidly. Uh, sometimes it would take, you know, a few hours um, but before it would take some time and I wouldn't hear anything back from anybody. Um, and then also if you guys use the WhatsApp, then that's going to take a long time too, because apparently the, they call him the Chinese engineer. That dude may not even respond to you at all for some time. Um, and the time zones are different. So if you're working at night, he might get in there. It's just, it's just a weird thing. Um, now they are helpful for sure when they get to you. And sometimes it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm a plumber by trade. I'm not a solar guy or electric electrician or anything like that. So it took me some time to kind of figure this all out. And I was thinking, why doesn't anybody make a video? I did. Uh, and I really hope this is helpful for you guys. And if there's something that you see that I did, did, I did wrong on this particular kit, man, let me know. I, I am up for any kind of help on this or any kind of furtherance in what I understand about this system here. Again, I'm new to this whole thing and I did I had to do a lot of homework to try to figure this out. And I really do hope that you guys uh, had a, uh, that I helped you with this uh, just somewhat. And one last thing, it was funny because I saw one YouTuber he had put on there. Uh, he, <laughs> he showed installing everything and I was like, yes, this is good. And then he gets the parameters and I'm like, yes, he's gonna help me. And then he was like, ah, uh, yeah. He actually stopped the video and then went to something else. And he was like, I'll make a video about this in the time. And I was like, no, we were, we were so close, man. Come on, keep going, bro. And it didn't happen. So I'm hoping this will be a part two to his video, kind of. Uh, but one thing I want to say as a comment that he made is like, you know, going through that book, trying to work the parameters, it was almost like, um, I think he said something to the effect of, um, it's like a monkey uh, trying to learn how to drive blindfolded. And I would disagree. I think it's more of a monkey uh, learning how to drive blindfolded with no hands. Yeah, now try that one. So anyways, I really hope that this helped you guys. Um, all in all, it's a, it's, it's a decent system. You know, I, 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 would I do it again? Uh, yeah. yeah, but you know, don't hold your breath, man. There's some things that are gonna take some time when trying to, this is not like a, a, a quick thing. You know, especially if you order this, it's going to take some time to get in. It's going to take for them some time to get answer some questions that you may have. So unless you're like a smart, smart dude and you've done, you know, all the stuff backwards and forwards. Hey, great. You know, and you have time to wait. I think it took me my, almost a month to finally get the whole kit in. So, yeah, be expecting that. If you're like, hey, I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get it, you know, in, in a week or two. And I'm going to have the whole thing up and running. No, that's just that's not the case. Now, unless they've changed something from then to now maybe but i don't think so i don't think that's the case but maybe i you know i, I don't want to i'm not trying to throw those guys under the bus or, or talk bad about them that was just my experience so hopefully you don't experience that either but expect it okay i would in fact i would even say this too before you click buy on this system i would check with customer service and say listen will i get my product the whole thing not just the, not just the inverter not just the batteries, not just the panels, not just the, like, will I get everything or is it going to take a month for me to finally get everything in? Okay. It doesn't hurt to ask them. Anyways, guys, this is a, this is a, almost a 15 minute video. Uh, again, I hope that this uh, helps you guys. Please comment. Let me know if something I, something I could do better or if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah, I may not be able to. Anyways, hey, God bless, man. Take care. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.